So thanks so much. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to introduce myself. My name is Wendy Sun, and I'm a current UC Davis grad student, uh, director of outreach and director of program, dental programming of UCD PHSA. Welcome to the second day of the conference and stay over uh, Sunday with us. First, we would like to thank WAMC for their sponsorship of this conference and everyone else for making it possible. And I'm excited to introduce one of our keynote speakers, Dr. Carolyn Booker. Dr. Booker is the Senior Vice President of Educational Pathways with the American Dental Education Association, where she oversees the centralized application services for dental and dental hygiene programs. With a bachelor degree in psychology, a master's in rehabilitation counseling, and her PhD in counseling and administration, Dr. Booker has spent more than 14, 15 years of experience in dental education. She worked at the University of North Carolina School of Dentistry and Radford University and served Virginia Commonwealth University School of Dentistry as the Associate Dean of Students and Faculty Administrative Affairs. Dr. Booker has served on several dental school committees with particular focus on admission, cur curriculum, and student evaluation. She has been working on the recruitment of underrepresented minorities to increase the diversity of the professions of dentistry. As an active speaker and great mentor, she has advised students about how to successfully manage a curriculum in health professions and develop professionalism, communications, and multicultural competency skills. Please give a warm welcome to our keynote speaker, Dr. Colin Booker, the Senior Vice President of Educational Pathways of the American Dental Education Association. Good morning. Good morning. I know it's Sunday and a little early, but we're all up and ready, right? Okay. Uh, thank you for allowing me to come and be with you today. I really appreciate any opportunity that I get to speak to, interact, and share my knowledge and information with students. I'm going to approach how I speak to you a little bit different than I normally would do um, when I speak. Today, I'd like to tell you a story. This is a story about a young person who wanted knowledge, companionship, and recognition, who wanted to be able to shape the future, loved being involved in their community, wanted a job that provided a good salary, and most of all, wanted to have a fun, exciting career where they would not get bored or become frustrated with a day-to-day -day routine. They wanted their life to be different. The person in this story is what we call hungry. They are hungry for information, hungry for direction, encouragement, and hungry to learn. They yearn to know more and will go to various lengths to see what they can learn. Just what is it they are seeking? We don't always know. We aren't always sure just what it is. There is so much they want to know. There are so many questions, so many options, so many opportunities, and so much information. Just wanting to know what it would take for them to be able to reach their dream, what they need to do to be successful, and who can help them along the way. In this story, the person have decided they want to become a health professional dentistry specifically. So the quest to begin, let us walk through some parts of this quest with this person. As many things, it begins with questions. We know the person decided at some point that dentistry was the career for them. Maybe they reached this decision as an elementary student, high school, college, or even after. 
What questions do they ask themselves? Do they seek to find answers to the best courses to say, take? Do they ask themselves about shadowing experience? Have they said, I have shadowing experience, but do I know what dentists really do? How many years is dental school? Will dental school teach me how to run a business? Do I have the perseverance to get through dental school? What will it take to be successful as a dentist? And how do you have a successful practice? Do I have the personality to work intimately with people on a day-to-day -day basis? Many, many questions and sometimes very few answers. The person in this story often turns to those they believe will help them. Sometimes it is friends, sometimes family members, sometimes advisors, or sometimes it's just people who want to share with them what they think is best. I offer caution to the person in the story. Be thoughtful and careful of who you listen to and who you trust for advice. Not everyone will have your best interest at heart and not everyone will know how best to direct you on your path to becoming a dentist. As we move along in the quest, we find the person in this story have found out what courses to take. They have become involved in activities at school. They have worked hard on maintaining grades and have developed great leadership skills. However, do they have information on what it takes to be successful once in dental school? As getting into dental school is different than being a success once you're in. Has the person in this story thought about how they handle stressful situations? Have they thought about how they learn and how this may be different once in a dental school? Do they have information on what it does take to be a successful practitioner? Having good hand skills does not guarantee one success as a practitioner, while being able to relate well to others with a great personality also does not guarantee success. Do they know what it will take to be the kind of dentist they imagine themselves to be? Surely, the person in this story has, has thought many times, I can't wait to be a dentist, or I know I will be a great dentist. I wonder if the person in this story has ever said to themselves, hmm, just what kind of dentist will I be? Maybe they have not heard or have been told that the profession of dentistry look for individuals who are ethical, able to do what is right when it may not be popular, individuals who are good communicators, able to provide simple explanations to complex procedures, individuals who understand that being detailed oriented relates to all aspects of patient care and not just doing a fantastic restoration and individuals who know their patients will be a reflection of the demographics of our society and not a select group of people. As we wander on through the quest, I ask myself if the person in this story has done what we call soul searching. Do they have a positive self-concept where they feel good about who they are and what they have accomplished? What is their strength of character? Do they prefer long-range goals to short-term or immediate needs? Are they comfortable with delayed gratification or need immediate satisfaction? What kind of support system does this person have? Who can they turn to when things get, do not go as expected? What obstacles or challenges have they overcome to reach their goals? Are they able to engage in realistic self appraisal? Can they recognize and accept deficiencies? Soul searching, understanding the emotions or motives for a course of action. Has this person in this story actually thought and understand their emotions and motives for their course in pursuing dentistry? Moving along a quest can sometimes be challenging, frustrating, rewarding, and renewing. Sometimes the person in this story feels as if they are alone 
with no one to share their thoughts, their feelings, their anxieties, and their joys. They may feel isolated as there may not be others around them who share their dream. Or there may have been those who have said to this person, who are you to dream? The person in this story gets excited by being in a dental office and holding a dental handpiece for the first time. They get excited for making a difference in the world around them when there is no one there to see it. They know that being a dentist is more than just a dream. It is a passion, a calling, a mission. They have learned there's much to do and many ways of getting to the destination of becoming a dentist. What is going to help the person in the story on their quest to becoming a dentist? The person in the story will need a strong sense of self. Knowing who you are, your values, and what matters to you will help keep you focused. It will help you to turn away from activities and actions that can derail a dream. Having a strong sense of self will help you deal with rejection and keep you grounded. They will need to learn not to be afraid. Do not allow fear to be a dream stopper. Fear can tell you that you or someone or something about you are not worthy of becoming a dentist or even applying to dental school. Fear can tell you that your grades, your test scores, your school, your whatever are not good enough for dental school. It can keep you from moving forward. It can keep you from taking risk and just trying. Being afraid will allow self-doubt to creep in and change your whole direction. Stop fear before it stops you. They will need to read, read, and read some more. They must understand the value of reading to their success as a student, as a practitioner, and in life. On this path to becoming a dentist, the person in this story would need to be able to analyze complex data. They must be able to use comprehension and critical thinking skills, all which are strengthened by reading. Let me tell you a little about the person in the story. They are excited by pursuing a career in dentistry. They are excited about the opportunities that lie ahead. They work with their advisor to make sure they are on track and have good information. They attend conferences and workshops to get more information on applying to dental school. They research dental schools to find the best fit for their personality and interests. They are pursuing this career because it interests them and not because it is another person's dream. They understand that being a dentist is not about them, but about serving others. They are Pierre Fichard, who is credited with being the father of modern dentistry. The person in this story will change in dentistry what we call modern dentistry. They are William Morton, who conducted the first successful public demonstration of anesthesia. And now we have a person in this audience who will create a more effective anesthesia. They are John Borden, who introduced the high-speed high speed air-driven handpiece and the person in this audience will create a new dental handpiece. They have a career in pathology as a dental scientist, studying the causes, processes, and effects of diseases. They are an endodontist who diagnose and treat diseases and injuries that are specific to the dental nerves, pulp, and tissues. They are working as a public health dentist, making an impact on policies and programs that affect the community at large. Finally, they are general practitioners who work hard each day to treat their patients with care and sensitivity and compassion. They are loved by their community and daily transform the lives of their patients. They are happy to be a dentist. What makes them different from other people around them? Nothing on the outside, nothing that you and I can see. It's what's on the inside that makes them and all of us different. It's what's in their hearts, their passions, and their uniqueness, and what they're willing to do to reach their dreams and goals. Today, I did not want to tell you what it would take to have a great application to dental school, 
nor tell you how much shadowing experience you need, or talk about how to get leadership experience, when to take the DAT, or even about GPAs and interviewing tips. There are many people you will meet here today at this meeting who will be able to do that and much more. I want you to understand it is important that you stay motivated. You continue to have drive and commitment and you do not give up on your dream. I want you to be realistic about your goal. Most of all, I want you to understand that applying, getting into dental school and becoming a successful practitioner is your story. This story is about you. It is your history, your decision to become a dentist, your hunger for knowledge and information, your quest to become the best prepared student for dental school. You will write the story and thus you will write the ending. The ending is not when you get into dental school. It is not when you enter practice. It is not even when you're no longer living. The end is the impact you leave upon this world. It is the work that you have done throughout your lifetime, and it is a reflection of those who have loved and supported you. I would like to encourage you today to think about who you are, where you're going, and what it is that you really want to do and how you plan to get there. Not everyone will make it to dental school, nor should they. We need people in all of the health professions. Make sure you find the best path for you. It is okay to change your mind. Wherever you end up, whatever you end up doing, remember, it is your story, and it will be the best one ever told. Congratulations on your quest and best wishes for creating your story. Thank you.